Hey guys, what the actual Mark here, and um, today uh, I have another video for you. This time I'm going to do a, a little prediction about how uh, Spider-Man Homecoming might open up with a couple of flashbacks and maybe a couple of theories uh, as to uh, what Marvel is probably doing with the fan theories. Um, <clears throat> so there might be spoilers as to what I'm what I will be saying. So. Uh, if uh, any of them will be right, then uh, okay, but, but I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I'm gonna say in this video. So, um, what I could understand from a reading in the article from, from uh, Coming Soon when they were visiting Spider-Man Homecoming, they were saying that the film is going to open up uh, dur during the events of the Avengers, with Adrian Toomes uh, probably uh, going to Stark Tower and uh, doing something about the Jitari weapons that happened during the Battle of New York. And then it's going to be a montage of uh, Peter going to Germany and uh, him fighting uh, uh, Team Captain America. I think there was an article uh, or maybe a quick quote from uh, Kevin Feige when he was uh, being interviewed uh, and he was talking about uh, how old uh, Spider-Man was during the Marvel Cinematic Universe and uh, apparently he said that when Tony Stark announced that he was Iron Man, uh, Peter Parker was just five years old. And when uh, Chitauri invaded New York and the Avengers uh, stopped them, Peter Parker was just 10 years old. And right now, uh, Peter Parker is somewhere between 15 or 16, uh, depending on uh, what uh, the director is saying. Now, here's where the prediction and the theory comes in. I think they're trying to retcon uh, previous films uh, to please uh, the fans about the fan theories. Uh, for example, when the Captain America the Winter Soldier happened uh, and it was revealed that Hydra was responsible for the murder of Howard and Maria Stark, they immediately thought that uh, maybe Bucky uh, was brainwashed and uh, assassinated uh, Howard and Maria. And uh, when the Civil War uh, came out, People were right. They knew that uh, it was Bucky who murdered them all along. Then it was proved again when uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Volume 2 uh, happened. Uh, it was there was the theory that uh, Stanley's cameos are actually uh, have have a bigger role in uh, the universe, and that he's actually the Watcher, uh, and that he's. Uh, uh, looking out for a couple of heroes, and apparently it's confirmed by Kevin Feige and James Gunn that uh, he is indeed the Watcher, although they credit him as the Watcher's uh, informant. Now comes the theory with uh, Spider-Man. Um, remember that little kid at the end of Iron Man 2 during the final battle where uh, the Hamtron was almost gonna uh, shoot uh, the little boy and uh, Iron Man saved him? Some people are saying that's actually Peter Parker. What? I was believing it. I was believing in that theory. And uh, and then there's another little plot twist or coincidence or a theory. There was a deleted scene from uh, the Avengers where there was a family uh, in trouble. Uh, they, were, they were trying to drive away from the Chitauri and Captain America saves mom and the dad and the little kid. And uh, the little kid uh, uh, gives uh, Cap the shield back because he was saying them. And everyone's saying that this might be Richard and Mary Parker and uh, their son, Peter Parker. Coincidence? I think not! This might be how it can connect. It, it, it has all the answers that you need. It, it, it has all the evidence that you need uh, by watching uh, Captain America Civil War, uh, the moment uh, the heroes are introduced to Spider-Man. Not when uh, Tony Stark uh, is meeting Spider-Man, but when uh, all the heroes are introduced. You know, where Captain America gets the shield taken away by Spidey and... Uh, well, here are the parallels that I can uh, come up with. Peter Parker was almost gonna get shot, but uh, Iron Man saved him and, and, he called, and he said, Nice work, kid. And then when Spider-Man takes away the shield from Captain America, Iron Man says, nice job, kid. Nice job, kid. Then comes the Avengers, the deleted scene. Peter gives Captain America his shield back. And in Captain America's Civil War, 
Beater takes away Captain America's shield. So, it's a really good parallel if you think about it. Okay. Cap Captain? Big fan of Spider-Man? Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Just... Hey, everyone. Good job. You just blew my mind. <laughs> this is what they had planned for him. Everyone's saying that uh, Peter Parker was in Marvel Cinematic Universe all along before they got the rights. You know, before they got 50% of the rights. Honestly, I believe it. I believe it. When it comes to introducing the film, I think this is how they're going to introduce. Because uh, almost every single uh, Marvel film starts off with uh, a flashback. The first Iron Man film started with a flashback, then there was Thor and Guardians Galaxy and Ant-Man. They all start with flashbacks uh, from uh, different time periods. And I was wondering, after Sony logos and then there's uh, the Marvel Studios with Michael Giacchino's new fanfare, then we cut to New York, May 4th, 2012. Battle of New York. We see uh, the quick shots of the Avengers saving the world and there's Captain America saying what the team needs to do. And then we see uh, Richard and Mary Parker protecting uh, Peter Parker. And then they're saved by Captain America. And then uh, after that we cut to uh, Adrian Toomes doing whatever the hell he's doing. And then we cut to four years later, or present day if you will, and it's gonna be Spider-Man uh, going to Germany and uh, battling uh, the Avengers. Or it could uh, end up in another way. The way they could uh, confirm the Iron Man 2 theory during the end credits. I mean, just think about it. They could have that the high school yearbook thing and uh, considering the fact that Iron Man is in the film, they could have the final shot of Spider-Man uh, swinging uh, th through the camera and uh, then we cut to the credits and uh, and then there's gonna be a quick little shots of uh, Spider-Man. Uh, it needs like a high school yearbook type of, uh, uh, you know, credits type of thing. And it's uh, one of them is gonna be a quick shot of uh, Iron Man saving the little kid from Iron Man 2. So yeah, that's how I think that uh, Marvel is confirming fan theories uh, that uh, some people were wondering about. Now all that is left is finding out who the hell has the Soul Stone. It all has uh, the letters, you know, Thanos uh, and every single artifact that uh, hid the Infinity Stones seem to have letters that uh, initially spell out Thanos. So uh, I'm not sure what's going on over there, but they better confirm it. So that's how I think Marvel is uh, confirming fan theories and that's how I think Spider-Man Homecoming might start out and how Peter Parker really was in a Marvel Cinematic Universe by retconning a couple of films and uh, honestly I'm not that bothered. So yeah, but prove me wrong Marvel. Prove the fans wrong, okay? So yeah, if you have any thoughts about uh, this video, you can leave a, a comment down below. And if you like this video, hit like and subscribe to my channel. So, um, see ya.